Hey, so I'm excited because I keep hearing about this show called Cobra Kai and all it makes me think, it's, it's somebody was saying is like a throwback. It's making me think of what else but the Karate Kid. And I was a bit of a Karate Kid when I was young. I was definitely a bit of a Karate Kid. Well, maybe not as good and I actually didn't even take official karate lessons, but I thought I was a ninja for a, for a short time there. And I'll never forget what well, I used to order. This is like from a magazine I used to order. You know, you'd call or I think you'd have to like mail in order. And I would get these little packages sent to my house. And I'll never forget uh, one time of these, these ninja stars and another time nunchucks. I got nunchucks and I got even like the size. Like if you can, if you know anything about like ninjas or swords or throwing stars, Chinese stars, throwing stars. So... One of the things that I did when I was a kid and I got in trouble uh, was I had a poster in my room. and I can't remember what the poster or picture was. Maybe it was just like a random picture. And when I wanted to practice throwing stars, so a star is like something that would kill people. It's basically like it has like, you know, prongs on it. And it was literally, it looks like a chainsaw blade, but smaller. And you could throw it. And you ever watch any ninja movies? I used to be into all those, those movies. Um, Oh, I can't remember them. They were really like kind of like B-roll movies, but we would we would throw we would throw the ninja stars. So you know, if we go outside and throw them in the backyard and do a tree, but they didn't really stick that good in the trees. But what they did stick in well was into <laughs> into your wall in your house. So I would move a picture off, and my parents never knew this. They did finally catch up when we were. <laughs> uh, I kept putting new posters over it, but I would put a poster, move it away, and I would sit in my bed and I would throw the ninja stars into my wall when my parents, when my parents weren't around. And I was like, oh, I'm getting good at this. I'm getting good at this. I'm getting a little bit better, a little bit better. It made me think, now I haven't watched, officially watched the show Cobra Kai, but I'm going to imagine it's something that has to do with in the 80s and, um, and not being a ninja, just karate and all that stuff. So I'm actually intrigued to check it out. Hopefully, if you guys have watched it, you can maybe give you some recommend recommendations if it was good. But it definitely threw me back to the days of Karate Kid, right? And you think of, if you remember Karate Kid 1, I loved Karate Kid. I thought it was such a great movie. And what I loved about it, I think back, and some of the things that I loved is, of Kray is the sensei, right? Is uh, daniel son, and he... And he didn't have him do all this karate in the beginning. In fact, he had him, do you remember? He had him, I forget what was the first thing. He was cleaning, but then I remember really vividly where he brought him out to all these old cars. And he said, wax on, wax off, wax on and wax off, right? He was literally teaching him karate as he was just having him clean these cars. And he was getting so frustrated because he's like, what do I got to do all this stuff? And he just said, no, no, dude, just do this, wax on. And now do all cars in the lot, right? And he'd do all the cars in the lot. And you know the, how the story went. I'm sure if you are a human being, you watch Karate Kid, at least one of them. And uh, if you haven't, or if you don't remember it, maybe it's a good movie to, to go back and watch. But why do I want to share this with you is, is the secret to getting a little bit healthier is just like the Karate Kid. It's just like when I was sitting in my bed with the throwing stars, because I wasn't very good in the beginning, but after a while, I got really good. I got really good. And then I go outside and I throw them in a tree and I got really good at it. And I just got a little bit better. And I got a little bit better. And you think of with, uh, with uh, Karate Kid, you thought, you think to yourself where he got beat up, right? That was part of the reason why he wanted to, to get taught in karate, because he went to learn it in this new neighborhood him and his mom moved to, and he was bullied, right? He was bullied. And then he went and, 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 um, uh, his sensei, gosh, I can't even think, uh, I can't even think sensei, <laughs> yes, sensei. And he, um, he taught him how to do karate, but he went through the steps. There was a process involved with that. And for the daily dose today, I wanted to share with you because Sunday's the day kind of, there's a process that happens, right? You're getting ready for the week ahead. It's a holiday weekend. So maybe you're not getting ready for the week ahead because it's a long weekend. Maybe you're still just enjoying it, and that's really, really cool. But I want to just say, because I, I shared this post yesterday about getting a little bit better, and that's enough. Because I think sometimes we put these, these huge goals, lofty goals, that are great to have. I have huge aspirations in my health. I have them in my business, for my family. I have huge aspirations. But sometimes we get so focused on those, those far away places, and we forget the little things. We forget the little things. 
like Danielson, who got really good and won the championship. Sorry, it was a B. He won the championship, right? The karate championship with the dojo against the, the Cobra Kai's, right? And he won. And it took a process. He started out getting beat up first, right? Maybe you feel like in your health, kind of like a lot of people in their 40s and 50s that feel like they're getting beat up pretty good. They're getting bullied. Their, their mindset's bullying them in making bad choices. Their, their choice to be lazy versus go exercise or eat a healthy meal versus not a healthy meal. And then it just goes that mindset and then you just beat yourself up, right? You end up bullying yourself along the way and that's why a lot of times people fail. But what if you could just become a little bit better? What if the goal was to just be a little bit better each day? What if it was just, you know, they say making progress, big steps are small steps, progress is progress, right? And it's okay even if you take three or four steps forward, maybe you had a really good week. But as long as you're not taking the same amount of steps backwards, as, as long as your weekends, maybe your weekends are your weekends. Maybe you do really good during the week, but your weekends end up crushing your effort in the week. And maybe it's not because it's a, just a small little off the chart. You, you go off the rail in your, in your diet or you, you get real lazy in the weekend or you overindulge in something. It's maybe that it's because that balances out between the things that you're doing healthy and then ends up there's no progress and progress no progress what happens is think about him do you think if if um if daniel's son if he if danny if he actually didn't see progress he would probably stop in fact he was about ready to quit right he was like forget this give it up because he didn't learn any karate and then he took him out and he said you know he started to do the moves and he said wax on bah, and he goes bah, bah, bah. And he was able to block these punches. Wasn't that like really, really cool? Like I was like, wow. He learned that from all those little baby steps, the little bit, just the little bit of effort over time each day. Now he did put a lot more effort into it and then he won. But that's what I wanted to share with you today on the Sunday is just that little bit of effort you continue to put in. See what happens is if you think of your habits, because that's what it comes down to. It doesn't come down to crash dieting. It doesn't come down to only, you know, only drinking water and never eating anything fried again. It doesn't come down to never having sugar. I mean, you can go that extreme route and I'm sure maybe if you're in your forties or fifties, you might've even tried it. And chances are you've tried it a few times, right? And the reason why you've tried it a few times is because it didn't work the first time. It didn't work the second time. It didn't work the fifth time. So think about this, those little bit of effort. Think about you as this pen here. And actually, I think this is the positive direction, right? This way. So if you think of here, if you have some habits that are around, maybe it's, it's you know, maybe it's in laziness, maybe it's in mindset, maybe it's in just poor, poor choices over the weekend, maybe it's in not planning, maybe it's in no motivation. And those are just some things that you've built up over time. They're around, they, they're around, this is you, the pen, and they're around, and then they're just holding on, right? You think of a rubber band pulling you in one direction. So yeah, these habits are kind of pulling you in the habits that you really are, know that aren't healthy for you, right? So what happens is if you start to put these little rubber bands of positive habits, of healthy habits, things that are move you into a better place with your health, get the weight off, a little bit, a little bit of time, a little bit of effort, wax on, wax off, right? A little bit of wax on. Well, he didn't just do it two times. He did all the cars in the lot. And then he continued to practice and he continued to practice. And you remember the, the iconic scene the epic scene on the beach where he's up and he's doing the crane and that's how he won. Like, I mean, it gives me still goosebumps to think about that. And again, I remember being a bit of a little ninja warrior. Like I said, throwing my stars. I remember how many bruises I had on myself from nunchucks. So nunchucks, they have these little chain in the middle and you may have seen them where you can like throw them around. <laughs> and I remember practicing, I got the padded nunchucks and I was like, oh, this is good. And then I got the wood ones. And the wood ones were like beating on me. I got like bruised, but I kept practiced a little bit, just a little bit more. And I did a little bit more. And you know why I kept doing it? Because I really wanted to get good at it. You know why Daniel's son, why he didn't give up? Because he was either going to get beat up, but he wanted to win. He wanted to win. And I want you to win. And this is what it comes down to. If you want to get a little bit healthier, first off, you got to want to win with your health. If you don't, listen, here's the deal. There's two options for people. You either want to win with your health. You want, either want to win. And I say win is like to get up in the morning and be like, I've taken good care of myself yesterday. And that's a little bit for today to take better care of myself today and a little bit tomorrow and a little bit the next day. Or, or you could fall on the other side of the coin. 
and you may be there right now. And it's like, why bother? I don't even care. I'm not motivated. My life kind of sucks. You know, I got no relationship. Maybe you're divorced. Maybe you're in a bad spot at work. Maybe life just kind of sucks right now. Maybe you even got COVID, God forbid. Maybe you're just in a bad spot because maybe you did a little bit of getting to that bad spot yourself, right? Chances are, I mean, not all chances, but most likely a lot of chances, a lot of the circumstances, the repercussions that you're dealing with now that maybe aren't favorable for your health or because you put yourself in that position. Because instead of choosing to get a little bit better, you chose to get a little bit worse. And maybe it wasn't, it didn't feel like a little bit worse, but you got a little bit older, you got a little bit more careless, you started to really just give up a little bit easier, maybe even just quit, you know? And that's what happens. And when you start to get a little bit worse, then your health goes down with it. So my encouragement to you, because this is the Daily Dose, and like I said, oops, some sunshine. Let me just, here, if you need some sunshine in your life right now, let me just provide it for you right there. <laughs> so if I had some ninja stars, you'd probably be throwing them at me right now. But it just remember, I remember I got in trouble too, back to the start of this when I shared with you sitting in my bed. And it was an old house too, like the walls were old. And I'll never forget when my parents took the, the poster down and they saw all these holes in our wall. And my dad was a builder, so he could patch it up pretty easy, but still, he's a carpenter. So it was something that I remember I got in trouble, but I'll tell you what, I sure as heck, were, I was good at throwing stars. I could go out in the yard, we had a couple old trees in the backyard, and go, whew, whew, like throws. I got good, because I chose to just practice and get a little bit better, and get a little bit better. And for your health, kind of like your health, you have the option today, like for me, at 47, I'll be 48 in a couple weeks, can't wait to celebrate my birthday. And maybe you have the best month of the year for your birthday as well. It's September. And maybe you've been going down that road of a little bit worse. Maybe you've been pursuing a little bit worse. And instead of, you know, waxing on or waxing off, or instead of exercising, instead of eating healthy, instead of, you know, instead of not moving, today could be the day that you actually start fresh. Maybe instead of just winging it during the week, you can actually apply a little Get a little plan together, right? You're like, oh, Mark, I'm just not motivated. Well, that's not where it starts. You have to take action time and time again. And as a health and fitness coach on the side, uh, if you've been watching me any length of time or you've been following me, you know I, pers I, I post a lot on fitness because I'm a health and fitness coach. I've been doing this. I've been getting a little bit better for the past 25 years. And honestly, I have a program that's unlike any others. And it may not be the right option for you because... It's not for the faint of heart in a sense. I'm not looking to just add more clients into my schedule. I want people who are truly serious about improving their health. They're ready. They're ready, meaning like they're ready to take action. Like, no, Mark, I, I really, you know, I'm just looking to be motivated. If you're just looking for a coach to motivate, you're going to be sorely disappointed because it takes much more than motivation to get your butt into a healthier space. You get a little bit better. You think if it was just up to, to, to Sensei, yes, Sensei, if it was just up to, uh, what is his name? You, uh, Ima, uh, I can't think of his name. I can't think of the guy's name. If you can think of it, post it down below. But in the Karate Kid, um, oh, I can't. He's like right on. Again, I'm old. So I, if you think it was just him motivating him, do you think the Daniel son would actually have won? Do you think Danny would have won the championship in Karate Kid? No, he would have got his ass beat, right? You can't just get through with motivation. You have to take action. He chose to take action. He had really no choice. He was getting beat up. He was getting bullied, right? You remember? When the dojo guys, they, uh, the uh, Cobra Kai guys came and beat him up. Remember Halloween? And they beat him up, took him down on the fence. That was such another great scene. And I remember that. It was like, And then you saw, um, I, I can't think of his name. And he came jumping down and he beat up all the kids for him. And he's like, wow. And the guy was old, right? He was old. And he did it. And I would say, you can do it too. You can actually beat up your enemies. You can beat up your, so to speak, Cobra Kai guys, maybe the bullies in your life. Maybe it's mindset you're bully. Maybe it's just lack of belief. Maybe you don't feel confident enough. You can, you can win that. You can win the championship of your health, but you gotta put the effort into it. And it's not about motivation. This should be motivating to you, but it's not. Excuse me. You need to take action. <coughs> Excuse me. 
Uh oh, I'm not allowed to cough. <laughs> You're not allowed to cough anymore in this world. So you got to take action first because then when action happens, you get results. And when you get results, then guess what? Then you become motivated. Motivated at the end. Action, results, motivation. Action, results, motivation. Action, results, motivation. That's all I got for the Daily Dose. I hope I'm going to go check out Cobra Kai. I think it's on Netflix. Anyway, talk to you soon. I hope this encouraged you. I hope it gave you the secret, the secret, really, to getting a little bit healthier. That's all I got. Take care. Now I'm going to go get a little healthier and get a tissue. Take care. God bless.